Kevin again. I am on the way to work, so I'm just parked up now and I'm waiting for the ferry over to the island of Nova. Uh, the journey from home is about two hours and it involves taking two ferries. Uh, one to the island of Nova and then finally to the island of Corpo. I work in Metsalatus in the Archipelago Sea or Shergords Havet in Swedish. I mentioned the Swedish name because of course the archipelago area is one of the areas of Finland where people are bilingual and indeed for a lot of people who are resident in the archipelago sea uh, Swedish is their first language. Um, I don't speak so well Fini Swedish because I've spent most of my time concentrating on learning learning Finnish for living and working here in Finland but uh, I do know some and it's definitely a good idea to have some Swedish uh, just so that you can talk with the locals when possible. So yeah, I just got some nice footage of the sun coming up. The fog suddenly cleared and uh, yeah, as you can see, the sea is frozen. One interesting aspect about the Baltic Sea here is that the um, Salinity is so low that the actual sea freezes in the winter if it's cold enough. These ferries go back and forth all day, 24 hours, so uh, they actually keep the ice open. Um, that's why it looks so broken. But in the bays and stuff where you don't get large, larger ships uh, or vessels traveling, the ice will actually freeze. Okay, so here we are in lovely Korpestrum on the pier. This is a popular tourist place in summer, uh, particularly with the people who use sailing boats, but motorboats can also come here as well. Um, you can get your boat fueled, there's a shop. If you want to explore the island, you can also hire bicycles. Um, you can rent a sauna, you can do laundry. The part that most people visit is, of course, the, the restaurant. You can see there are some tables and chairs still left. So it would be quite a nice place to sit and have a glass of wine and watch the sunset in the winter. Of course right now there's nobody here except me. I'm not sure how thick the ice is here so I think I'll uh, not take the wrist and take a walk on it. Um, I would need a rescue suit and also a life jacket if I was going to risk it. And, um, in general, it's not a good idea to walk on the ice by yourself, so I think I'll give it a miss today.